Hey, this is Retired Geek Woman with Stardew Valley 1.5, Retire Soap Play, part number 69. We're on the 22nd day of spring and year number three, so our springtime is coming to a close so quickly. We've only got six more days and we've got so much to do. Got a very busy episode, so stay with me on this one. So say good morning to the family. Hello. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Ah, I keep doing that. It's the wrong key. It's like I don't play for a few days and then when I do, I start hitting the wrong key because another game I'm playing has different key mappings. So I probably should change them so I don't keep hitting poor Harvey Jr. over the head with my axe. Oh my gosh, it's so terrible. Oh, hello kitty and fill the kitty bowl. And I, what I've been lately doing is once I went up, run up there and grab the Iridium Ore, which I'm trying to do first thing so I don't forget. Um, then I come over here and put my watering can away because I don't need it at this point. And then, of course, i got to rearrange everything. I just like it so that whenever I pick up, you know, the eggs and the milk and all that stuff, they're all in a row there instead of tucked in between other things because it's so easy for me to miss stuff. And then I get aggravated. So I just stay a little bit more organized. So I'm going to say good morning to all of our pets. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Again, to do that, you just right-click, hold the mouse button down, and walk near them. And then we're going to milk our cow and one of the goats. All right, we got goat milk on that one. That was Poppy. He was our second goat, so we're not best friends with him yet. But it's coming. As long as you pet them every day, then um, it comes. And I've been told that um, having feeding them fresh grass helps the relationship too. But I, I'm not 100% sure on that. And I don't know if anybody really knows. So who knows? Uh, and so we're going to, we did collect our... Uh, made our cheeses and put in more in the cheese presses. We're going to run in here and collect all of our eggs and goodies that the other animals left us and uh, grab all of the mayonnaise from last time. And let's see what we got here. We got two chicken eggs that we got today and it looks like we'll just go ahead and do regular mayonnaise again today. And you know the obviously the, the dinosaur mayonnaise uh, pays us the most and then the duck and then the chicken but dinosaurs are only once every seven days, so it takes a while. And all of our beautiful ancient fruit plants growing like crazy. I'm so excited. That is really coming along. My plan is coming along. <laughs> and so um, I'll just go ahead and leave them. And then we run downstairs to the cellar every morning too now. That's one of our new things. And come down here to see if we have anything ready. And we do. And we go, what I do is I put what I have in my inventory first, and then I say, okay, which ones do I want to put in? I may end up selling um, the regular quality goat cheese that I have, as long as I can keep ahead here, because um, those are regular quality take a lot longer uh, than the gold star quality to age. And I, as long as I'm staying ahead with the gold star, I, I don't need it. So I'm probably going to pop that in the shipping bin one of these days. Um, after we get all that done, we're going to come down here and see what we can harvest. And we've got strawberries, lots and lots of strawberries. So I, I'm hoping that we can get at least another harvest of some of these strawberries before the end of the season. And there's another one that got tucked away there. We've got them growing almost over, all around the perimeter here, which is what I had been trying for. Uh, I didn't succeed this time, but that's okay, because I didn't have very many strawberry seeds uh, to start with. So um, I think we did, we did pretty good, considering. But we're going to keep at it, and let's see how many we've got in our chest. And not too bad. Um, we may be able to get enough seeds for next season to fill, fill our entire field and maybe we'll take some of those strawberries depending on how many more we get and do some uh, strawberry jelly, jelly or jam. I don't remember which way it says. Our new worm bin, we made that last time. That was a thing I totally forgot that I had a recipe for and I'm thinking why do I not have a worm bin? Because that way we don't have to go get those bugs in the bug lair or in the in the mine or where the bug lair there's one of the sewers it's like ah I didn't have to do that and look at our beautiful ponds we got going here and look at those rainbow trouts rainbow trout has now made a second one all on its own and I did not mean to do that I'm trying to click on it so we have two and uh, it takes I don't remember how many days it takes I think it's only a couple of days to give us a second one and we'll just keep going until there's nine 
and then we'll pull them out and they'll also give us other gifts aside from row which is great row can be aged and sold so that's another revenue stream i generally don't make it a huge one uh, because i do switch out the fish sometimes if i get whatever it was that i was looking for in the first place uh, at this point i cannot see what's blocking my way i wanted to walk be able to walk across there to check all this stuff by the way i want to point something out here do we see something different on the left hand side above the honey hive will you please take a look at that that is called a giant crop now in my 11 year farm there's three different crops from three different seasons that can make that happen and i love them for decoration i've been trying for 11 game years to however many until I, I built this area to get a cauliflower and to get a melon and all i've ever been able to get is a one pumpkin i couldn't believe it that the first time that i tried this with you guys i think you guys brought me luck because I've never been able to get that giant cauliflower. And again, that's decorative. I'm not going to chop that down or anything like that. I'm going to leave it as a decorative thing right there on the farm. It's going to look really awesome when I get the second one, which I want to be a melon. So I couldn't believe that it happened. I couldn't believe my luck. I was so excited. So I was so happy to share that with you that I was able to get that to finally happen. So what I'm doing now, I'm obviously going to put that honey uh, in our shipping bin. So along with our uh, other things that we put in there, that should bring us a little bit of money. So that's good. I like having additional revenue streams for sure. I have been talking a lot about the, um, what it takes to make our next batch of the iridium sprinklers because we're going to need a lot of them. And you can see it takes a gold bar, iridium bar, and a battery pack. And I, you can see I have 19, so I only use 18 battery packs, so I could leave one in that line there. I have to have one in there to kind of, as a placeholder. And I can use, um, then I can use the, I had 12. So I've just kind of decided how many I wanted to make real quick. And again, this is all in preparation for our next season, which as I mentioned, it will be coming up in just six more days. We have six more days of spring. So I'm kind of planning ahead on how it's going to be planted because I don't want to wait until the 28th or the first of the month to have that done because it, it, you, you get so busy, especially when you're planning a big plot like this. Something else that I did is that I kind of, I'm laying out the farm, the planting area, very similar to the way I had laid out my 11 year farm. I kind of like that layout and it will include the uh, Junua huts that I had been talking about. So I was just kind of getting these sprinklers laid out where they should be. Keep in mind that you can have 24 areas around a single iridium sprinkler. Now obviously I'm not going to be watering down below, but I am going to be watering above it. So I was counting out how far apart they needed to be um, to be able to sprinkle everything to make sure everything gets wet because you obviously don't want to have a whole area and I had that happen before where I, I had I had it in the wrong area and uh, that's why I'm putting these on the bottom I had all, like two whole rows because I had miscounted so someday I should really lay this out properly uh, if I ever start again then I'll do it a little bit more efficiently so it's like okay not there not there and then two more spaces there and then so that's what I was doing so my far, it's not really laid out um, exact so that I would have exactly 24 places around the sprinklers uh, but everything gets sprinkled and I know approximately how many sprinklers that I will eventually need for the whole area and so again I was just looking at the uh, 11 year one that I did as a kind of a, of a uh, blueprint I guess you would say of where I'm going to be putting these sprinklers and I was trying to see how you know how much could I do ahead of time um, and how much you know how many sprinklers do I have how much can I do ahead of time before I uh, actually have to knock down all my crops I don't want to knock anything down until I'm sure everything's done growing because I don't want to waste the money uh, so that's kind of what I was thinking about and I'm looking at my space here too um, so it, it's kind of exciting that it's going to be expanding that much as you can see I uh, I used some of the ones that I had but I was thinking eh, not sure if I'm going to put the rest of these down yet or maybe we'll just go ahead and tuck them away for now and uh, work on it some more later 
we do have a lot of things that we need to get done before the end of the season, but you know, it's not, um, it's, I'm not stressing it. <laughs> I refuse to stress anything in this game anymore. I mean, I, should, I didn't ever stress it. Like I've mentioned in numerous episodes, I had had a goal of some things I wanted to accomplish by the end of the second year. If you've watched the episode around that period of time, you know what I was talking about. And I accomplished those goals, but I didn't, it wasn't a stress thing. It's like, okay, I wanted to have this happen. I knew this would happen if I did this. So, and that's how we ended up with the amazing Statue of Perfection, which I think is kind of a huge game changer for us. What I thought I might do is we've got two lightning rods on the side of the house. And if we made a few more, then the next time we have a lightning storm, we will get more batteries. That's what they do is they, um, they pull lightning away from the other part of the farm in theory. So if you don't, lightning can strike your trees and, and it really would be a really a bummer thing if you have trees that are very specific that you don't want to lose. So I decided to go ahead and make a few more lightning rods, just maybe four more, and put them along the side of the house. That's probably not going to be the permanent location for them, but it's where I've got them for now. And um, so I had a little bit of, of a problem. You can see I have one right there behind the mailbox, right? There's a space in between but it doesn't look right. I'm thinking, why can't I put it right there? I could put that one there. So it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, what the heck? I don't know what, what's going on, but I didn't really care. Again, this is not gonna be a permanent place for these. They're just gonna be a place for now so that we can get some batteries. And I don't wanna block myself in to where I couldn't, um, I couldn't, see, I can't even, I can't even, for some reason I can't hit this one. I'm really, really struggling with that. I guess that's the in-between spot right there. So it didn't make sense. Anyway, I just want to get these lightning rods put down so that we could, in case we have a storm and um, get those batteries because that's what you use for the sprinklers. Plus there's other things we need batteries for, not just our sprinklers. Um, so we'll, we'll get a few more. Hopefully there'll be at least one storm before the end of the season. And it has to be a thunderstorm. I mean, there's rain, there's rainy days sometimes, but there's also th thunderstorm days. So really, I'm just kind of hoping. I don't know what's going to happen for sure. But um, anyway, I was very annoyed. It's like, okay, come on. I just want to put this where I could not get blocked in uh, and I can get to the batteries when they show up. So anyway, it's kind of frustrating. Um, so you're seeing my frustration right there. I almost cut all that out. And I thought, no, I'll show you how frustrating it can be sometimes. <laughs> just doing some of the simplest things. I could put that one there and it's like, okay, just stick it anywhere. It doesn't matter. And um, I was annoyed. So I don't want to get too close to the shipping bin. So I was like, okay, good enough. I can reach them all. That's why I was looking to make sure I can reach them all. So there we go. We got our, our lightning rods for more batteries. Uh, so I was very good about where we were with all of that. So um, I'm also wanted to mention I'm going to be trying to cut down the length of my videos while I'm kind of doing some busy work here. I, I had been doing an hour and sometimes even an hour and a half and I think that's a little bit long. I know pe people are busy and they don't have a chance to sit and watch an hour and a half long video. There's not everybody in the world isn't retired which like me so um, and I you know I've got family members that tell me I don't have time to watch that so what I'm um, going to do is try to get it down to between 30 and 45 minutes is my goal for my episodes and if that you can more than welcome to comment I do appreciate your comments if that seems like a good length of time 30 45 minutes if that's a good length I guess one reason why I was hesitant to do that was because um, I was afraid I wasn't giving you enough content you know I'm doing a long play you know series here where I'm playing hours and hours and hours and hours of these games and only cutting out very little you know mostly the boring stuff like deaths and things like that you know if I get killed in the mine or whatever but you know I appreciate your input on that you know tell me what you think while I'm uh, making these ec a couple of extra seed makers as you can see that we need to make more seeds which we need a lot more seeds for our next season uh, I would appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to my channel. It really does help YouTube like me and it also lets me know that I'm doing something that other people find valuable and worthy of their subscriptions. Um, also, give that video a like. Same thing and same reason. So it says, hey, I got someone that liked it. Cool. 
it's just validation that I'm doing something that people appreciate. So I do really appreciate it when you do that for me. Um, I, while I'm making these seeds right here, which is not the most exciting thing, but it's something that we need to get on for the next season. And that's wrong. That's fall. I'm looking in the fall one. I'm just kind of looking over my seeds and saying, okay, I only have 52. That's not going to be nearly enough. We're going to have to buy quite a few, but I'd rather buy as few as, uh, as we have to. Because uh, eventually I'll get to the point where we don't buy any. So while I'm here doing that, I wanted to mention that I do have a couple of up extra tabs on my main page. If you'll head over there, I have my community tab. That's where I put all kinds of things. Anytime I want to share some information with you guys that I want you to know about, that's going to be the place for the announcements. So such as if I'm going to start a new game, if I'm going to pause a game, if I, whatever, I'm changing schedule or whatever. That's where I put those kinds of informations and announcements. I also do occasional polls. So if I want to know, hey, how long do you think my video should be? I have done that in the past and ask that exact question in a poll. So I appreciate your input on things like that. I also occasionally put some pictures of my kitty cats. You hear me talking about them all the time. And so uh, that's a place where I can do some pictures like that and give you some uh, little, just some fun things to look at that aren't all boring. And then also something else I've started doing is I'm doing a preview of the upcoming videos for the following week and I'm putting them on the community tab first which you can click and go to that will be uploaded on Saturdays and then on Sundays they go to the general public so you get to see them first if you go to my community tab and click the link to the previews of upcoming videos so it just gives you something to look at say hey oh there's something coming up that's gonna be pretty cool I want to make sure I don't miss that one uh, so that's kind of the purpose for that as you can see, I got as much done as I possibly could, and it's 10 o'clock. I kind of like going to bed at 10 o'clock. It's just kind of a thing. It's dark. It's time. Harvia goes to bed at 10 o'clock. And you can see that we made a little bit of money on our stuff, 5900 That's nothing to sneeze at. Look at that. Blue Jazz Honey. Perfect. So just some extra money, 5900 And we're really doing good on our monies right now. So the things that we have to buy coming up aren't going to break the bank. It's the 23rd day of spring in year number three, and we are over now 260,000 in the bank, which is fantastic. And I just wanted to say hello to Harvey. And oh, he's so cute. Uh, he's talking, there's gonna be a, a dance. It's a spring dance. Look at all those beautiful plants that get to be harvested. And the mayor of course gonna tell us about, oh, it's called the flower dance. And it's gonna be west of town tomorrow. So in the first, the first full year of this playthrough, I did not miss any of the events. I went to all of them. So some of these I'm going to skip. Um, this one I haven't decided yet. So I am going to skip a few of them just because there's nothing there that I want to see. It's nothing. There's some of them you can buy stuff from. Uh, Pierre always has sets up a little shop and you can buy all kinds of things. And some places have tons of shopping. So there's some reasons to go to them in the future. Other ones I'm just not so much interested in anymore and I probably won't. So if you want to see what those events look like, go back to the, uh, the beginning of this series and see what um, those events look like. And they're interesting. I think everyone should go to them at least once and experience them. And I'm trying so hard to milk this goat. Like sometimes you just can't get the right spot and I end up trying to milk the ground. <laughs> And Nanny didn't even have milk. It's every other day for for each of the goats. Ugh, frustrating. So hopefully I'm not milking a dinosaur. I've tried to do that so many times. It's really hard to see in the grass, but it's worth it so that they can have nice fresh grass. And as you can see, um, I, they've only eaten not even quite half of the grass, and we've only got five days left in the season. So um, the, I have more than enough grass area for them, and then we'll switch them over next season to the other side which is even is an even bigger area and so coming on into the coop these both are the deluxe versions of the barns and coop if you've not seen this before and uh, pick up all my eggs pick up mayonnaise and let's see what we got got a dinosaur egg so that was awesome and a couple of regular eggs and it's like oh, let's see 
What are we going to do? I think we'll just do the brown eggs this time. And I'm still hanging on to that extra chicken. I, I'm, at some point, I may switch out one of the chickens for a dinosaur. I haven't made up my mind yet. And let's see. Oh, boy. Look what we have here. This is ancient fruit that's ready. And so because we had got all of our area for the ancient fruits planted, all of this is going to be able to be tucked away, saved up, and eventually put into our kegs. Eventually, we'll have so much more that we can go ahead and put some in the jams and jellies um, preserve jars. And I'm so excited that that happened. <laughs> like yes look at all those oh I'm so excited you will see that our income is going to just explode when we start having enough to start putting those in here I mean really so uh, most likely I'll wait until I have a stack of 22 of one particular quality or I might not I haven't decided yet I get so excited when it comes time to start uh, filling them with the ancient fruits because once we get those down into the cellar and we start aging them and then you start putting them in your shipping bin. It's like, holy moly. <laughs> it gets to be amazing. Most, most likely those wines that you see in there will probably never get to them. I've, had, I've been doing enough cheeses that they, er, they age faster than the wines. And I've been putting them in to get our monies. Eventually, we'll have a lot of cheeses. But we'll have the wines growing down there as well. So time to harvest what we got going here. It looks like we got a whole bunch of garlic. And I think those might, are those parsnips down below. I think they are. Uh, those are the ones that you can grow pretty quickly after I cannot grow any more of my main crop because there's not enough time left in the season then I grow other things so we did parsnips parsnips and garlic and there's another strawberry so look at that awesome so it's like okay we've only got five days left in the season and I don't want to ever waste seeds ever 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 so I have to think about this I'm not sure if we have the time to grow more so we'll have to check and um so you can just put when you do what well, you just put your mouse on each of the packets like it takes six days for potatoes well we don't have six days six days six days four days for parsnips that would be the 27th and while i don't necessarily want to have tons and tons of parsnips i really don't want to waste any growing time if i can help it so i thought well let's go ahead and get us get us some parsnips going in our um, seed makers as you can see we've got five now eventually I'm gonna probably put at least one if not two more along the side however many we can fit I'm not gonna expand this shed into the large size um, I'm going to um, uh, just leave it as it is it, it that when you expand it to the large size one it doesn't change the outside uh, footprint but it does change the inside well it just pushes all these chests back out you know farther back and it's just a waste of space but we will expand the uh, kegs in the uh, preserved jar area so let's see what we can do here just pop in some parsnips uh, the the uh, fertilizer is still there you can see it sparkling underneath so if you pr plant something right away like that it just uses what's there so it's great you don't have to re-fertilize it so that's awesome so I, what I was doing is counting here and say how many more um, spaces do I really have to see what I can grow really quickly in my last five days anything that takes four days that's <laughs> that's what I need and parsnips is pretty much it and uh, that's okay what we can do we can pickle them so that'll give us something to put in our uh, preserve jars fruits uh, make jams or jellies I guess and the vegetables make them pickled so either one is fine and that just gives us something else that we can make and I just want to make sure that I never run out of the amount that I need to um, to fill them so in, right now including the one on the outside there are there's 21 so I need 21 of anything that I'm going to be uh, pickling or making jellies of and same goes for the wine so what I had looked at was how many we had, and I think I needed one more. It's like, come on. It makes either one, one, two, or three seed packets from each uh, item that you put in the seed maker. And I just did not luck out on how many that I needed. It's like, come on, one more. Let's get going here. <laughs> it's already past noon. we got things to do. It takes 10, sec 10 real life seconds, by the way, 
to make a seed packet from something. So we're going to run around here and fill these in real quick. And um, just so we got something growing in the planting area and it makes me happy uh, that we're not wasting planting time. Again, I'll, you know, that's just straight out money right there. Those are parsnips. I don't know that, we, did we buy parsnips? I don't even remember buying any parsnips. Um, I know we started with 15 free ones and kind of went from there. So, you know, I think our first couple of years we had to buy all of our seeds, but eventually we're going to be self-sufficient and we won't be buying any seeds. Um, I, I was hoping for this season that we wouldn't have to, but I'm sorry, this year, but it looks like we're going to have to. I don't have enough. We did have to buy quite a few cauliflower seeds, uh, but I'm really hoping that next year we don't have to. Uh, so we're going to, each season we're going to try. Oh, I just love walking down here and seeing that giant cauliflower. Oh, that makes my heart so excited because <laughs> I have never had that happen. That was so cool. Wouldn't it be cool if, it, oh, now wait, I want to show you. This is called row and we, that's called rainbow trout row. And it, you can put them in the preserve jars to, to, um, to age it, and then you can sell it. So it is a revenue stream. As I said before, it's not, um, oh good, that's ready. Uh, it's not something, it's, it's like a small revenue stream, but I may change out the fish at some point. I saw that our fiber was ready. So this is kind of fun to walk along here and it, it's like just super destruction. <laughs> but we need a lot of fiber and so that's why I have my little planting area of fiber over here. You don't have to water it. Uh, I don't bother with fertilizer on it because it grows fast enough for what we need. I'm also getting mixed seeds from it as well and that is a resource. So I love my little fiber planting area. We don't have to go around and look for it anymore. And there's places to get it. We've been getting it all along, but we need a lot more. And this is a great way, in my opinion, to get it. It takes 108 uh, fiber seeds to fill this area right there. And yes, I did make a note of that. Look at that. We got 500 and some odd, almost 600 fiber from that. 574 fiber. Um, and nine mixed seeds. So that is just amazing to me <laughs> to get that much. And we only had 700 and some odd before that. So very cool that we could get that much. And also what I wanted to do was make my deluxe uh, speed grow from what I currently had. And so I grabbed my coral and that takes coral and oak resin. I wasn't sure how much I had. Um, there's my grass starter. That's one thing. That's what I'm using it for is grass starter so that each season I can pop in extra grass starter and it explodes into the, uh, the area, field area. And so I want to come down here and grab my oak resin and I wasn't sure how many I needed. It's like, ah, I don't know. I can't, you know, I can't count that in my head, but I'll take all but one and we'll make as much as we can of our deluxe speed grow which it makes your crops grow 25% faster. So I have to have enough for my entire planting area, which is going to be so expanded. So it's, we really have to have uh, quite a bit more. So I'm glad I got that, um, the grass starter going. I think it takes 10 fiber per piece of grass starter, something like that. So we want to make sure that we have plenty of that. And you'll, what you'll see me do is when it's time to switch my animals into the other field, then I'll go back to the previous field and put down grass starter so that it will fill in the area. And, you know, as, I never have enough to just dump it for them to eat only that. It needs to, needs to grow a little bit. <laughs> so I have 71 pieces. That's more than enough right now. And I didn't mean to put that fiber in there. And um, I also wanted to double check the recipe for fiber seeds. And as you get new recipes, sometimes they move around. So it's hard to find things where you think they were. Uh, and then it's like, oh yeah, down there, there it is. <laughs> it's mixed seed sap and clay uh, is what it takes. That's why I've been saving the mixed seeds. You can see I have 27 of them. And again, I won't use all of them. I will use all but one of them so that it can, has a placeholder. I like things in a certain place and um, I know that sounds really silly, but I don't want to have to go search for it. And if you take it out, everything out, then everything shifts and it really drives me crazy. So I always leave one. Um, so it was mixed seeds. And again, I, I had already forgotten what it was. <laughs> My short term memory loss. Uh, mixed seeds, sap and clay. And it's five sap to the one clay and one mixed seed. So what I'll do is I'll grab 
26 clay and then just a whole bunch of sap. <laughs> so clay, again, I've been talking about saving the resources. We hadn't been using them for anything else uh, up to this point, but I've been saving all of the clay when we dig up things and we end up with clay. I've been saving it and that is the reason I've been saving it. So I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of sap because uh, I don't know how much I need. And uh, I want to make as many fiber seeds as I can because I need a total of 108 to be able to replant my little field over there. Um, so there we are. It makes four each one. So we should get quite a few here. And there we go. 104. So I'm only four short of being able to fill up the uh, field again. So I just love that little area there. I love keeping that uh, that grass starter growing and there's going to be other places that I'm going to use the grass starter uh, partially for decoration so we'll grab our 108 and run down there and pop it in the field now occasionally a crow will get one of them the way I look at it is it's okay I don't want to put any scarecrows down there I don't want to waste what I have I don't want to make any more and it's okay to me um, unless they start wiping out my field, which I have not seen this happen. I think I, I think I lost one piece last time. And so unless they start wiping me out, I'm not going to bother with it. We're just going to plant it and let it grow. And you can grow fiber year round, which is pretty cool. So I could plant it now and grow it through the winter. And it takes zero maintenance. So it's kind of a cool crop. It's the only one like that that I'm aware of that you don't have to do anything with. Um, so kind of cool. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Makes me happy. And that's our oak trees there for the oak resin. And we're looking down here and look at all those pretty, pretty fishes. And just kind of clean it up a little bit here. Um, again, I've talked about this area right here. I In the past, I've used it for a field to grow grass for hay. And at this point, because we don't have our uh, barn is not full of animals. It's only got three out of the 12 it can hold. I don't think we need to grow grass there. Oh good, I accidentally realized that our unmilled rice was ready. So that's cool. You can only grow that in the spring. So I think I've only done two. I wasn't paying attention so I only grew two batches. But that's cool. You can take that unmilled rice and put it in a, in a uh, windmill which we're, we'll make, we're going to grow one of the grow. <laughs> We are going to buy one of those at some point because I do need it for something, but then you don't, I don't need it in the future. So it's one of those things like I go ahead and get it and then don't use it very much later in the game, but we'll get to that when the time comes. So things are looking pretty good. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Um, we need to keep our kilns going and you can see I've been using quite a bit of gold. So we need our gold bars, so we need to keep the gold bar supply up. I don't ever want to get low on those things. And you can see that one was down in the 30s. There's over 40 of the other ones, except for the iridium bars, of course, which we've been using quite a few of. And I think we're going to need some more. So that's okay. We'll get there. But I did want to keep those bars going as if I can. And so right here, I'm looking at this area thinking, well, I wonder if we could go ahead and uh, put, you know, I love looking around the farm. I love looking around the farm and see where I'm at, see where I'm going. Um, and I'm also comparing it with the um, screenshot that I've showed you guys before of the 11 year farm that kind of given me my rough blueprint of where we'll be going with it. And you can look at a pr previous episode. There is a screenshot of that. Uh, I did a screenshot of where we started on day one of this farm. I have a screenshot of where we were as of the previous episode of this farm. And then I showed a screenshot of the 11 year farm, which is kind of where I think we're going to end up, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, I got the ideas, kind of a plug for the forums. They've got a place where people can post screenshots of their farms. And I did a combination of things, pieces that I liked of those farms and kind of put it all together. And this is how I ended up with what I currently have. So I didn't... <laughs> None of this is my own idea. I borrowed it because I'm not a creative person, but I'm very much able to use pieces of other people's ideas. So that's how I ended up um, with the 11 year farm and what I think this one will look like. Uh, I knew that we kind of needed some hay anyway. The silos were a little low. I don't really freak out about it at all. I generally um, make sure that I just have enough in the silos for the 
uh, winter season. That's the main thing. The rest of the year they're going to be outside in the in the grass, uh, except for rainy days. So I was just checking there. That's the uh, the trash that we put into the recycling bin, and I love that recycling bin. You put everything in there except for the Joja Cola cans, and again make some more coal there, and gather the things. By the way, look at that red. Uh, hardwood we've got a good amount of that and that's coming from the trees that we're chopping down because that we chose that I don't remember which one of our um, choices of our skills we chose let us get the redwood from the trees so that's going to be pretty much the end of the day it's all I wanted to get done that day I want to say good night to Harvey here and I want to thank you again for following me along on this journey. I really appreciate any comments that you have. And give me those likes. I appreciate that on those videos. And also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. All of that is appreciated, and I appreciate you. So thank you so much for following me along on this a journey. We're going to get where we want to go. And hello there, little space alien. I hope you're having a good day, too. And I hope that you, my subscribers, are also going to have a wonderful rest of your day.